Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching The Breakfast Show. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about the energy sector in Egypt and means of enhancing this important uh, sector and uh, how to attract more investors. And uh, President Afat Sisi also issued the law number 160 of 2020, licensing the Minister of Petroleum Mineral Resources to cooperate uh, with uh, uh, Egyptian South Valley Petroleum Holding Company to serve and uh, exploit uh, petroleum in the Red Sea and uh, to know more about uh, this decree we are joined over the phone by uh, Dr. Hussein Ghazawi, energy expert. Uh, good morning. Good morning to you. Um, as you quite right actually mentioned in your intro, yes. uh, the new decree uh, is encouraging investment uh, and allowing the Minister of Petroleum to go ahead with all this uh, uh, foreign investment in the Red Sea. And we need to, to remind uh, um, ourselves that that wouldn't have been possible without the maritime demarcation with Saudi Arabia, which yes. allow Egypt now to have the opportunity mm. to explore in an untapped reserve mm. of oil and gas in the Red Sea. Red Sea is, is we, we have been drilling in, in the Gulf of Suez for many years, but the Red Sea is still untapped. And uh, with this decree, definitely will uh, will uh, will give Egypt the opportunity to to do what we have done in the Mediterranean with the Red Sea opportunity. So, sir, also uh, there is explorations. Uh, there has been always explorations in the Mediterranean Sea with the any company, with the Italian any company. So, uh, sir, uh, what's new about these explorations? I think uh, it, it, the, the Mediterranean and East Mediterranean basin. Uh, with all the good results we have achieved with uh, the famous Zohri field, West Nine Delta uh, fields, uh, uh, still, uh, still a lot of uh, a lot to come. Uh, the estimated gas reserves in the mm. East Mediterranean basin exceeding the 350 trillion cubic feet. There is uh, also Egypt is going to float a new uh, concession uh, uh, bid for the west part of the Mediterranean towards the Libya, to, towards the Libya uh, border. So that's, that, will be, that will be a new exploration. Egypt managed to attract all the major international companies in all the uh, bid rounds we have made in the last six, uh, six years. Uh, in addition, not only the major international oil company, but also regional company uh, attracted in both Mediterranean and the Red Sea. Uh, let's not also forget the Western Desert and the Gulf of Suez as well. So I think the environment, the investment environment with the economy reform and encouraging foreign investment in, in Egypt allowed Egypt to have all of this major international and regional company participating in, in the last and coming bid rounds. So, sir, how do you see the political leadership interest in the energy and mining sector and the increase in this important sector's participation in the national income? I think uh, it, it is very clear mm. that the focus and the determination of His Excellency President Sisi on the energy sector. The energy sector is crucial for Egypt sustainable uh, development. We talk about the oil and gas. We mm. have seen what happened with the gas from uh, being, we were exporting, then we were importing gas for four years, became self-sufficient again, and start exporting again. Your question about the mining is very important, and uh, His Excellency, there is a lot of focus on the mining sector. Mining sector contributes only to half percent of the gross domestic project. Egypt has a lot of untapped mm. Uh, 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 mineral re reserve, and there is a new uh, um, uh, law in, in 2019 mm. uh, encouraging and urging investors. We, we saw in March Egypt signed uh, uh, agreement for gold, for gold exploration in, in, in the Eastern Desert. It's so carry mine, uh, 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 gold, uh, gold mine produce about 500,000 ounces of gold. I mean, in, in dollar signs, that's about mm. $1 billion. 
There is also the Fosset in, in Abu Tartur. And I would like to, to uh, if you allow me to mention that His Excellency is focusing on the value added project. There is no yes. point for us to export our mineral resources as a raw material. On the contrary, we need to basically have this value added project. In Abu Tartur, there is an investment over $1 billion to produce 500 tons of phosphoric acid. In number, if we talk about phosphate, one ton of phosphate is about $90. Hmm. But if you, if you have it as a phosphoric acid, that's a $900 or more. We talk about 10 times fold. So the value-added project is key. And I, I really admire and appreciate the focus of the country leadership on all of this project. The marble uh, factories in Sinai, we were just in, uh, exporting marble in blocks uh, to Europe and re-import them again. I think now with all this marble factories, uh, cement factory, make use of Egypt rich mineral resources in the mining sector and indeed in the oil and gas, increasing our refinery capacity. Egypt is the Number one in Africa now when it comes to refinery capacity was almost 800,000 barrels of oil per day uh, for, for uh, 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 in the Arabic world after Emirates, uh, UAE, uh, Emirates uh, Saudi, and Iraq. So we, and we will reach self-sufficient in the refinery product production by 2023. Mm. So yes, a lot of focus, a lot of determination to make use of Egypt natural resources uh, uh, with a value added portion. So, sir, you were talking uh, about uh, Sinai and um, uh, developing energy projects in uh, this uh, uh, rich uh, uh, area uh, of Egypt. Uh, so, how do you see uh, pro energy projects in uh, Sinai now? Look, there is already ongoing uh, project in the, in the north, in the Mediterranean, mm. north of Sinai. So the, there is exploration and yes. production activity for oil and gas. Sinai is rich with the mineral resources. There is coal, there is copper, there is iron. There is a lot of, and of course we mentioned, we mentioned marble, a lot of minerals. Yes. So there is a lot of focus on, on, uh, on definitely developing uh, Sinai, creating new jobs for, for, um, for our people in, in Sinai. Uh, uh, and of course, our Sinai is, is rich when it comes to tourism industry. So yes. complementing tourism mm. with exploring and mineral resources, mega project. The cementing factory in Sinai is one of probably the biggest or among the biggest in, in the world. So there is a lot of mega projects, make use of our mineral resources in Sinai hmm. and creating uh, uh, new jobs. And it's good for yes. the urbanization of, of having people moving from the valley going to Sinai and all this untapped uh, area. And sir, how do you see a cooperation between Egypt and the African countries in the energy sector? I think uh, 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 there is a lot of cooperation and hmm. uh, Egypt example of accelerating all this mega project in 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 energy sector uh, we we can definitely with uh, uh, with his uh, with the direction from his excellency egypt is offering its uh, uh, its experience with all these african countries there is a lot of gas discoveries in the east africa mozambique and tanzania and mm. west africa senegal and uh, mauritania and egypt definitely with our experience in terms of basically all this accelerated project, we, we also have a surplus of electricity. Now Egypt has reached a uh, production, electricity production capacity of almost 58 yes. gigawatt. We're exporting uh, 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 electricity to Libya, around 250 megawatt to, to uh, Sudan. Now it's 80 going to 300 to Jordan. Uh, 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 and uh, from Jordan to, to, uh, to Iraq. So back to, to your question, there is a lot of cooperation going on in, 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 in a sector of mining. Africa is rich with, with, with a lot of mines, all this uh, uh, um, 
precious minerals uh, only comes in Africa. So um, I think definitely an Egypt experience in, in the infrastructure. We all see the upgrading happen in the infrastructure, roads, bridges, yes. ports, upgrading of the ports. The problem in Africa is the infrastructure. It, it is key for sustainable development in Africa to have uh, 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 infrastructure. And I think Egypt, with, with, the, with the experience in the infrastructure, can share this experience with the, with the African countries. So, uh, sir, uh, uh, also, how do you evaluate the government efforts to improve uh, the national grid as we are talking about electricity uh, here in Egypt uh, to meet the increase in demand uh, during summer? Uh, we, we, we will not have any problem when it comes to electricity during summer. Yes. Egypt in 2014, we used to, to have a lot of uh, hmm. blackouts. Uh, 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 we were producing something like 23 gigawatt at the time where our peak was about 26 27 as i said egypt has the capacity of producing 58 gigawatt now we have a surplus we even exporting not only to africa and to to arab countries but there is a memorandum of understanding signed between egypt and and cyprus to yes. export even electricity to to uh, to europe I think uh, electricity, example in Egypt, turning from a really uh, a lot of problem, a lot of blackout, to, e to, f to have a surplus and even export, basically mm. support Egypt's position as an energy hub in the North Africa and East Mediterranean. So do you think that energy really will turn to uh, uh, energy hub by 2030? We are on the way. We are an energy hub. Yes. And we are expanding. We have the LNG plant in Etquan de Mieta. This is all, again, an infrastructure. For an energy hub, you need an infrastructure which exists and upgrading is going on. We need a regulation. There is a lot of the investment law. A lot of law has been uh, uh, basically uh, uh, issued to urge and encourage the trading of... Uh, when they talk about energy, that's gas, that's oil that's electricity, uh, we, we have the surplus of electricity and gas, we have a lot of, a lot of we have the pipeline going from, so, so pipeline going from Sokna yes. on, on, uh, to Sidi uh, to Kreer on the Mediterranean. Mm. So we are on uh, the, uh, the East Mediterranean Gas Forum with the headquarters in Egypt. All these ingredients are taking Egypt to be mm. a leading energy hub in yes. North Africa and East Mediterranean. So, sir, finally, uh, the president also uh, reviewed with the Minister of Electricity the minister's plan to cooperate with specialized foreign companies to produce green hydrogen from renewable sources. So, what is the importance of uh, uh, this uh, cooperation in the field of uh, green hydrogen? Thank you. Uh, the, the diversification in, in our energy resources is very important. True, yes. And I think uh, uh, what Egypt is doing with this uh, green, green hydrogen, what we're doing with the solar, what we're doing with the wind, is not only relying on the fossil fuel or the gas as the only source for, gas, for electricity generation, but also the renewable. And the number, Egypt, will reach probably 20% by next year uh, uh, of, of, of our electricity production out of uh, uh, renewable, from renewable, and a very aggressive target to reach 40% by 2035 of, uh, of our electricity from renewable energy. So diversification import is important. We're also talking about, and when it comes to diversification, the nuclear uh, plant in, yes. in Daba, to having all these uh, uh, different sources with uh, 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 electricity generation gives sustainable uh, uh, supplies of energy, which is key for, to, to, to manage all these mega projects, uh, national projects we are seeing in, in Asia. 
So finally, I'd like to thank you, uh, Dr. Hussein Al Ghazawi, energy expert. Uh, thank you, sir, for this precious information and uh, the viewers' short break. And uh, we'll be back with our second segment with my colleague Amal Mukhtar. So stay tuned.